Hachi Machi, the 2024 Through the Roof Tour is about to launch, baby. Mm -hmm. Come out and see the boys. It's a stand-up comedy show. And then we answer your garbage questions. You've seen the clips. You know it's a good time. Grab the squad and come see the boys, baby. Yeah, it starts April 17th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Then April 18th, we're going to Nashville, Tennessee. April 19th in Tampa, Florida at the Tampa Theater. April 20th at the Center Stage Theater in Atlanta, Georgia. Get all those tickets and tickets for all the other cities on the Through the Roof Tour at RUGarbage.com. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that after you grow up to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in a new edition. Mm-hmm. She is upstairs rolling pennies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Put them in a sock. I don't know what this broad's getting ready for, but trouble's coming, boys. Uh huh. My co host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He is an international businessman, and he's my best pal in the whole wide world. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan, everybody. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are through the roof. Cook it. And then, obviously, the greatest website of all time. You go over there, www.patreon.com. Ooh, Slash our garbage, you get up to two bajillion hours worth of content, baby, patent pending. Uh huh. How about a nice shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the old magic man, makes us all look good. <laughs> Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. <laughs> Give it up for T Bone McScruffins, Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? Hey, what up, pal, T-Bone? you excited? Uh, dude, we got an all time dude in here, bro. Yeah, yeah good we pal. Ah, uh, the sensei, man, the, the professor. The last time I saw this guy, we were at a blackjack table where the dealer was <laughs> tipping her cards oh. and we Still lost, oh. dude. Because you stink, both of you. Oh. I love you, but you stink. I forgot about that till right now, Tobes. <laughs> I kept nudging him, being like, hey, go to the ATM, <laughs> empty the accounts. I know you know Kevin's PIN number. <laughs> no, we still ate our ass, man. <laughs> Hook the buzzer up to your leg. <laughs> it was un- we, l- we were looking at each other like we were about to rob the place. We were about dude. to print money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's, no. it's a shame both you can't add. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a 40, dude. <laughs> We're set, man. Boy, our number came up. Hey, Gang, the long hair yeah. ain't lying because we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special mm-hmm. guest back with us again today. It's his third time here. He's family. You know him. You love him. You can hear him every week on his amazing podcast, Chubby Bohemoth. He has an amazing special out right now, Toad's Morale. He also has a brand new travel show over on his YouTube mm-hmm. page, Wide World. You can check out episodes one and two, and he is also... Famously, the author of this book right here, Running the Light. Give it up for the one, the only, Sam Talon, everybody. Hey, Boys. Hey, Sammy. pal. You That's my favorite thing. Thank you, Right man. there, to be able to have He's the, always wanted to, to do, do that. Always yeah. I love doing the book. Yeah. That or the, or the, or the record, if it was an album. Oh, right right if I could put that thing on vinyl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be 19 records. Yeah. Write a couple of hits, will you? <laughs> yeah. Something country. It's big right now. It's all kids. hooks. We need choruses. <laughs> Yeah, man. No, you guys had it on the shelf forever in the old studio. It's, yeah, it's, you guys sold me a bunch of books, and I oh, appreciate it. Love it, buddy. Glad to be back. I love you guys. I do a lot of bad pods when I come out this way. <laughs> well, it's happy not, to have it's you. Nice to not fake it. <laughs> I usually just have a pen knife under the table, being like, "Oh, how was Cleveland? Cutting." Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's good, man. And hey, look at this glow up, guys. Thank, Thank you, pal. Man. Thank no you. No one very deserves much. it more. Yeah, Tootie got. Well, I can think of a couple people, but <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can spoke to my girlfriend in a while. I guess I can think of a lot of people who. Don't deserve it. <laughs> also, coasters, huh? Coasters. Yeah. Putting on airs. Yeah. They were made by a, by a listener. They made them and shipped them to us. Yeah, he made them in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me some soups? I got some coasters. They say yeah. property of Rikers Island on them. But. A couple of license plates out in the lobby if you want to see it. Yeah, his lower back says property of Rico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Glad to be back. Yeah, man. It's been a minute. The last time I think we saw you, the last time I saw you, we were at the Indy 500 together. What a blur, bro. Man. Dude, you've remember? been all over the world. 
<laughs> Real quick. Remember? I think I know what you're going to say. What? It was a, okay, sorry. No, go. We were drunk. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was, we were drunk. He kissed me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you fingered me first. <laughs> he moves quick, this guy. I was trying to get you off me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got off. <laughs> like, a, like a pit bull when you stick your finger in his butthole. <laughs> yeah. Get him to stop biting. Still quick off the line, the big man is. <laughs> no false starts. It was when the Blue Angels flew over and we were standing oh, against yeah. the gate and Jewel was singing. Woo! And we both had sunglasses on. Man. And I look at you and you pull down your sunglasses. You're crying and oh. I show you mine and I'm weeping. And then we just held each other. Man, <laughs> we had the perfect was... amount of Bloody Marys in us. Yeah, and you the... had six and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and the right amount of America at our fingertips. That was Holy all of America, cow. Dude. Like she ended it perfectly. Then they did the low flyover, <laughs> slow and slow. We hugged each other, yeah. and a couple of fast movers came over in east to west, just just to let them know. Yeah. Well, fast movers, that's an industry term for yeah, cars. Oh, oh, <laughs> fast movers, dude. That's what they call fighter jets, fast movers. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's my mom in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's quit screwing around here. Man, you are. Yeah, big man's turning it on. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to do I got your nose in a minute. Yeah, we got to load some more coal in him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. What are the. Bring some wood in from the outside, will you? I thought it was Ozempic. I didn't know it was crystal meth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's working, baby. Yeah. Dude, one of, one of the. It was just a moment me and him shared that I, I didn't think about it until just now we were talking. It was the last night we were getting ready to leave. We all went out to dinner. I think uh -huh. it was after race day, and yeah. they all went somewhere, and me and you were waiting on another car to maybe go to a bar or go back to the house or whatever. And it was just me and him, and he got. we had a big SUV. Do you remember this? Yeah, Came, yeah. And uh, this is when you were at your biggest, and you uh -huh. tr you were getting you were getting in the G. It was like a Yukon or something. You were getting in, and you stepped on the runner board and pulled up, <laughs> dude. And the car, sh we both saw the car, like, almost get on two wheels, and he went, that's a 4,000-pound truck right there. <laughs> he goes, someone's got to... 6,000 now. He goes, someone's got to talk to him. <laughs> Dude, we la We just both saw, like, the whop wah like, the fucking oh, slingshot man. of the car. Yeah, you rocked the shot. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the concern and also just pure hilarity. That's a 6,000-pound car. Yeah, as I'm smoking yeah. and yeah. As we just ate 19 mozzarella sticks yeah. each. Like we it was were like watching e to beat up the car in Street Fighter 2, but it was just him getting in. I mean, if you if you spot it, you got it. Uh, sure. Both, I mean, yeah, but yeah, yeah I'm not, I'm Those no runners place. make me ner still make me nervous on some like the midsize SUVs. I got into like a Lexus or something like that the other day, and man, this thing it was it was like a bad snow shovel. I thought this thing was <laughs> cracking. Yeah, they're very plastic oh, sometimes. Damn, yeah. man. But look uh, at you now, bro. You're fucking shining. Great. Thanks, pal. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. I've been watching you just melting away over here. And boy, Thank am you. I happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> no one's That's happier. why you brought donuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's celebrate this. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to pork me up a little bit. I had half of one. <laughs> split it with Luke. That's how I get Luke these days. When I want to cheat or be naughty, I, I'll, I'll split it with you. That's like he ordering apps resist. for the tables. Oh, yeah. Yeah. apps for the tables. I order apps for the other table. And I say, <laughs> hey, I think they're going to want the galamon. <laughs> <laughs> the apps are for the table, and the fork is for defense. Yeah. <laughs> That's a question to kick off. Kippy has a theory of late that he wants to go all apps. Uh, How do you feel no about entrees. that? No entrees. No entrees. No entrees. All apps. You do a large drop of apps. If it's a group or whatever, yeah. large drop of apps. You're a small plate guy. Love a small play. You're trying to go full scale tapas. Yes. Yeah. Y yes, exactly. Yeah, I think that's great. But with because calamari only. Well, I don't like calamari <laughs> because of the whole pig rectum scam. Is that ah, true? That's all bullshit. That's all, that's all a PR. I've arse. eaten a lot of Chili's calamari. <laughs> <laughs> Man, doing the calamari. <laughs> yeah. With the butt plug still in it. Yeah, it's just ketchup. It's not even marinara. <laughs> I mean, that might be true. I just no, always you assume can tell it was fake. If they're, if they're round, if, if, if it's rounded off, mm -hmm. I would stay away from I it. I think you'd be able to tell. If you get a plate of just rounds with no tentacle... No, 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 thank you. Jo are, are you that familiar with pig butthole? I'm a, I, I think if I was eating an asshole, I'd be aware of it. <laughs> yeah. I've been on the business end before. I don't know, dude. <laughs> NPR has a whole expose on this thing. Really? They're bought and sold yeah. for. Yeah. Those nerds know. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, shut up, Soros. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's really got your real agenda over there. Yeah. See what Megyn Kelly has to say about it. <laughs> She'll, she'll shoot you straight. I, I was done by big mozzarella sticks. <laughs> yeah, I love I love apps for the table. 
Love Everyone's after the table, happy. And then go no but entrees. To the point of no entree? Sure, yeah. But, yeah. but then if you're hungry after the first rush, Get order another order another round. Yeah, round yeah. it back up. We'll do one more of those, two more of those, and then call it a day. Because we were somewhere. We went heavy on the apps, as we do. We're a big app big app crew. Yep. And then we was a steakhouse, too. We all got steaks, and the steaks came. I'm like, I just want more of the, you know, yeah, yeah. you're drinking and having fun. You don't want to eat a fucking 48-ounce 48, 48 steak. Me and my girl have been doing this, and it is probably... One of the hardest things that I've ever done because your your view of reality gets skewed when you're hungry and you sit down. You're having an existential crisis. A little menu? bit, and it's you know we want the apps, but we've been we we've been just getting entrees. And That's not for me. Halfway through it, we're like, thank God we didn't, and you feel sure. better when you walk away. I think that if you're going to be go out dining with people, because there's there's a difference dining. between having a meal and dining. True. And I think I'm good at dining, which means put your phone away. Hey, everyone pick something from the menu. You know what? This, there, I've had this wine before. Let's, let's get a bottle of this wine. Mm-hmm. You're, you're trying to make a meal out of it. Sure. You know, so if you're going to be lingering for two hours, get apps. Hey, you know what? I also kind of want to get the roast chicken. Let's get some roast chicken. Let's get some roast chicken. We'll pick at it. Yeah, because now we have a little bit of money. It's not mm-hmm. like the old days where you're going to CC's Pizza Buffet. Eating eat other people's chicken. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever done that? <laughs> you ever seen someone leave their table and you go over and you stake the leftover plate? I got it. I'm a real- At the restaurant? Real oh, weird yeah. with germs. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I can't do as that. A, as a server, it's well documented that I was a bad scarfer. I saw that documentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nat Geo drone footage. That's a goddamn hit piece. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, it was all in black and white. It's all deep you've, fake. You've seen Planet Girl? <laughs> Damn T Bone. What a pull. Morgan Freeman narrating it. <laughs> two for two. Yeah. As a server, I remember we had a this one place I worked at, I did it so much where they had a meeting about it. Hey, but it, it was Henry's just a fat two. piece of shit. <laughs> you see what he's doing to these escalates? <laughs> <laughs> He told her the to Toyota last week. <laughs> and but it was su- it's such a delicate thing. Of like you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings that they wouldn't name me specifically. It's just a silhouette of you. <laughs> yeah. I think it's him. <laughs> they just said, "Hey, you know the the scarfing is it's either Henry or Grimace." <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell. And Grimace doesn't work here yeah, <laughs> anymore. We're sorry, Tina. We should have protected you. <laughs> Um, scarfing is the industry term for it. Scarfing, and where you stand a, over like the trash can in and the kitchen. scarf it down, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is a real shameful term. I'll yeah. tell you that. When yeah, you yeah you it's scarfing. not a pretty term. No. Scarfing. It's got a negative connotation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there scarfing. <laughs> I got a question for you, fellas. Okay, I'm I saw something Here the other we go. day. It's gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's start this thing up now. Oh, hey, man, we- <laughs> there's there's nobody, and I learned this in Indy. <laughs> There is nobody as nice at the same time as being a huge jerk off as Sam Talent. It's like, is he the nicest? I don't know how to read that. Hey, you got a question, little guy? Go yeah, ahead. He just blasts you. Yeah. After like 24 hours, I'm like, does Sam not like me? This is crazy. He gets up and turns the cameras off real quick. Go ahead. What's your question? Yeah. Take a time out real quick. All right. This is gonna this is gonna sound real humble braggy for a second, but it goes to a real place. So I I got invited to a Nick game where we had access to a private box which was insane it was unbelievable what was her name uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to do it though <laughs> that's a little lowbrow for me <laughs> what was it in the box they had uh, some finger foods and such you know a little salad a little charcuterie board some dumplings whatever yeah. as we're leaving the game it was a shared box one of the guests has all of the salad in a plastic bag how do we feel about that? That's I no mean, good. That's crazy. I mean, that's probably not a great salad to be taking to begin with. No. That wasn't something like, I need this later tonight. Yeah, it'd be crazy if somebody did that. <laughs> he's looking at he's got two bags. <laughs> That'd be nuts. <laughs> Me and David Borey got uh, box seats for our birthday at the Rockies game. And at the end of the night, we both looked at each other, and they had all the appetizers out. And we just fucking scraped them into a bag and left with them all. <laughs> took, took the sternos, too. Yeah, and it wasn't a Ziploc, either. It was just like a grocery bag. <laughs> it's yeah. like a canvas tote. It's leaking out. Oh, yeah. So, you know what? Good honor. Man. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a that's a tough look. Someone's just gonna scarf it. Someone, of course, that that's their right to scarf it. You can't do that in front of mixed company if if it's business. It was a double header. All right, we'd been we'd been sipping them. Might have been some mushrooms going around the box. (laughs) What 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 kind of apps are we talking? Uh, Salads, one thing, but I mean, if you're taking a bag full of mozzarella sticks, chicken tenders for the rest of the night, or dumping artichoke dip right into a a Jan sport. I think it was like a southwestern menagerie. You know, okay. <laughs> it, was, it was Colorado, you know. It was of the area. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 
It was a lot of those like taquitos. And That's I remember, fine. Yeah. I remember being in the Uber on the way home. We were just wasted whipping taquitos at people out of the window. Right, well, if you threw them at people, all right. That's so, hijinks. Yeah, exactly. It was Man. all for the laugh, baby. I like it. Uh, you've been doing a lot of traveling. I've been out there. You've been out there. How many countries have you been to since we've seen you? Since well, I flew right from Ecuador to come be with y'all. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, you were a day late. Uh-huh. Dollar short. <laughs> he came in hot, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Came in a white jumpsuit and fucking crushing beers. Well, I had to meet that guy and move that kilo. <laughs> 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 yeah, so it just made sense. Pick, <laughs> we had to pick him at a bus station. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the plane landed in a lake. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've been all over, man. I did Europe. I think I've been to probably twelve countries since I saw y'all last. And did you go? You went around. back to Japan, I believe. I did. Yeah, you love it over there. Unfinished business. <laughs> <laughs> I went from samurai to ronin. I killed my master. <laughs> settled, settled the score with the yakuza. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, no, <laughs> they're good guys. <laughs> I went to I went to a, an establishment owned by a, a reputable businessman. Really? Over there. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah, what yeah. was the vibes of that place like? Uh, it was <laughs> switchblade. <yeah. laughs> I got a face tattoo. I had them covered up. It I'll was, have the Uzi sampler, please. Well, I don't want to say that I smoke. Nothing on that. That's not great. It's good. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I mean, after what Toby contributed. <laughs> uh, yeah, cannabis use, of course, is very illegal uh-huh. in Japan. But uh, there yeah, are certain is. establishments where really? reputable businessmen will have a brick of it on the counter and roll the worst joints you've ever smoked. Sure, okay. Just straight eighth grade swag. And you're 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 partaking in that? Well, uh, yeah. allegedly, never. never. Yeah. Can you For- imagine if a travel show did get that footage though? <laughs> wow. Oh, Maybe you'd want to watch that. See. Yeah. yeah. I'd yeah. be careful putting that out. But, bro, it was just Peter Tosh. <laughs> it was just nonstop Peter Tosh on the radio and a dude in a bucket hat, the scariest Japanese guy I ever saw. It was uh-huh. just like. Half of his face tattooed, Ooh. and him being like, "Do you like Sublime?" <laughs> like, <laughs> He's living in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, hey, whatever you like, I like. <laughs> Keep the warm Sapporos coming, chill. His name we just chill. got him here. They're pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you re- you you just moved too as well. I moved down to southeastern Colorado, man. Oh, fuck. really following the steps on this one. I like it. You also just moved as well. Yeah. Quick word from Pretty Litter Gang. When you actually straighten up the house for once, you want it to smell fresh, too. And for cat owners, that's a problem. Sometimes you walk into a cat owner's house and you're like, hey, K puts this stinks. Pretty Litter instantly traps odors so your house isn't smelling like a cat box and you can wait longer to having to scoop it out. And a bunch of lazy bums out there. I get it. One six pound bag lasts up to a month, which is nuts. Uh, one of the big things about Pretty Litter is the color-changing crystals. If you don't know, they turn different colors that indicate early signs of potential illness in the cat's UTI, kidney problems, so you can spot them early, get them to the vet, and take care of it. I know the big man uses it. He loves the shit out of it. And if that's not enough, Pretty Litter ships for free right to your door. No more hauling around Pretty Litter from doing from the grocery store. Pretty Litter's amazing. You have to try it. Go to prettylitter.com slash garbage to save 20% on your first order. Hachi machi. That's prettylitter.com slash garbage to save 20% on your first order. Prettylitter.com slash garbage. Terms and conditions apply. See the website for details. Shout out to Rocket Money. Are you spending too much money every month? Because I know I am. You might want to take a look at those monthly subscriptions that are on auto pay out of your account because sometimes you sign up for something and then you forget about it and you get whacked out every month for five years. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions and monitors your spending and helps lower your bills. Whether you accidentally signed up for something twice or it's a subscription you totally forgot you had, Rocket Money will find it, cancel it, so that money can go back in your pocket. I was I didn't realize I was signed up for Dildo of the Month for three years. They were I wasn't even receiving the packages. I think my neighbor was stealing them. Got Rocket Money, found out, they canceled it, bada bing, bada boom. They'll even try to get a refund for you for the last couple of months of your canceled subscriptions, negotiate to lower your bills up to 20%. Talk about going above and beyond. Rocket Money has your back. Rocket Money has over 5 million users. That's insane. And has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting your money on things that you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions today by going to rocketmoney.com slash garbage. That's rocketmoney.com slash garbage. One more time, rocketmoney.com slash garbage. Do it. I just didn't even like rank as notable, but I was almost swallowed by mud two days ago. Real nice place you got there. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like I say, this wasn't even notable. That would be the most notable thing. <laughs> You're stuck in quicksand? <laughs> Literally. Oh, no, no, no. Mud's the name of his pit bull. Yeah. <laughs> Mud sounds like a weird neighbor. <laughs> oh, man. I better get home quick. Mud's out. <laughs> You're fucking nuts. Is this at the new house? <laughs> He's nice guy until nighttime. What? When the sun hits him. Also, who says swallowed by mud? I would have just said I almost died in mud is what I would have said. Well, I was trying to put a bow on it. <laughs> He's an author. Yeah. He is a wordsmith. Yeah. I'm tarting it up. Bit of an it. idiot as well. I'm putting airs on as I tell my mud swallowed yeah. story. I almost so got... there I was face to face with the mud. <laughs> I almost got digested in a sand trap last week. <laughs> <laughs> There's all these signs in the uh, the grasslands. The national grasslands are down in the county I live in. And I go out and I would do my so, walk. Dude, every time I talked, when we were in Colorado, we were supposed to meet up. But he's like, I called him. He's like, I'm at 16 hours away in northern Colorado yeah, right now. Yeah. I'm not going to make it back by the way the bird flies. Like, I couldn't make talking? it down. Like, what the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, the train derailed. I couldn't, yeah, it was very. <laughs> couldn't it's catch all a like, car. Uh, It's all like 1820s problems he gives you every time I see him outside of a major city. Sorry. <laughs> the bulls were in the train yard. I got Swallowed the, I, by mud. <laughs> with, the, with the Pinkertons hot on my tail. My pride seed threw a shoe on the yeah. box. <laughs> Sorry, Emily got typhus. I can't make it go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have an anvil on you, do you, by any chance? The hard tack went sour. <laughs> yeah, dude. You lived in a small town to begin with. You're all, your guy's old place. I'm from Elizabeth, Colorado, and this place I live in now is smaller. There's like people walk to the Sonic. Liz, Colorado? Walk to the Come sauna? On, on the, the Sonic. Oh, the Sonic. There's, there's, there's a Sonic drive through but people walk to it. <laughs> I just picture all four of them like it's, they're still in the they're still in the formation of being in a car. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> to, to pretend to roll down One the window. One guy's ordering. <laughs> Seatbelt on. Yeah, it's just a mobile improv class. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's yes end out there. Huh? Oh, but I went out to do my walk, <laughs> and there's like signs everywhere that says "Watch out, dangerous mud." And I'm like, "Well, how dangerous can mud yeah, be? Yeah. Come on, I know mud. It's just fancy dirt, <laughs> you know. I'm not gonna be the guy who dies in mud." But I was out walking, and like the path was uh, was flooded, so I was like, "I'll just walk around it." And I walk, and then Start three getting... steps, one leg, just what? all the way down to the thigh, and I'm the earth gave way. That's you know, I got to get on whatever Ooh. you're on fully. <laughs> Wait, was did did you did your foot touch something hard or no? No, no, I was just walking. So you could have keep going down, is what I'm saying. I could have kept going if it weren't for my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God my my resilient sack got in the way. These things are filled with helium. <laughs> It'd be a tough time getting them underwater. Oh, I can't. I can't go under. <laughs> yeah. So I'm. It's laying. all right. I got my balls. It's okay. It's an, <laughs> I keep an inflatable life raft under my taint. Yeah, it's an airbag. Pulled the cord. Were what, how long did it, were you stuck? Oh, did the panic set in or? Was it like I, I feel Is any, good? No I one's good... around. You're by yourself, and I am deep in the boonies. I might be trespassing at this point because I just go off. That's the least of your problems. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> old man I might Jenkins. Be trespassing. <laughs> well, there's just shotgun shells everywhere, so I just follow the shotgun shells, you know. And it's a, I, there's all this there's a fucking probably ten thousand acres of land for me just to walk around in, and I happen to fall in the one mud hole, <laughs> so I'm down in the mud. And my dad luckily told me at an early age, if you ever get swallowed by mud, you lay down. You lay down, you spread your body out. You it's spread like your ice, weight. Kind like of, ice. Right? Yeah, you spread your weight. So I go to the ground, and now there's just eight minutes of me fighting the mud and me being like, okay, I, I don't die in the mud. Whatever you do. I'd pan. I would uh, probably just go under just Kippy to get and it Foley over. will have a field day if you die in mud. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let those two idiots find out I, I died in mud. I literally thought about Gillis being like his post, like, yeah, he drowned in mud. <laughs> Wish we could say no one saw it coming. At that point, you shoot yourself and say it was suicide. <laughs> hey, go, get your hands on those face. Sh shotgun shells. Yeah, there's enough shells. I can reload one. Yeah, so I just was in the mud and uh, wa like wallowing in the mud, and then I finally worked the leg free and then had to take a filthy walk back to the car. But there was like eight minutes where I was like, I'm going to die in this fucking God, mud. Damn. Cell phone access? Cell phone access, Did yeah. you call anybody? No, because I, I share my location Local with my radio wife. station or yeah. anything? <laughs> <laughs> you guys still giving away shine down tickets? <laughs> <laughs> it's my dying wish. I want to see Chevelle. <laughs> Shine down. <laughs> uh, oh, God. <laughs> it's 
right. I just want to shout out Kiss ninety five point one. And if anyone has a has a truck with a winch, yeah. I'm currently in the field by I ninety three. Who'd you call? I didn't call anyone. Oh, why didn't you? Call? I would have called somebody. I think if you get up to your neck is when you make the call. If your phone's no. here, what are you nuts? nuts Look, I've I've been. We in some live mud. different lives. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Yes, we do. We, we live very different lives. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't fear mud. <laughs> no, I do fear mud. How are you gonna no. make the call if you're up to your neck? I okay. All right. Well played, fellow mage. <laughs> <laughs> I had my earpiece in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I didn't call anyone. I figured my wife had my location. I would text her if the mud got too deep. But I also was like, I'm not going to die. I just have to work my leg free. Oh, yeah. man. But there was a moment where I was like, God, am I the guy they hung the sign for? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Is there going to be like a memorial, watch out for dangerous mud, uh, Sam Talon, 87 <laughs> to 24? Yeah, yeah. you're going to have that peach. cup at the grocery store and people donate to? <laughs> yeah. Mud boy. Right. <laughs> 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 A new special. Yeah, mud boy. Gotcha. <laughs> Live from the pit. It's mud boy. Oh, the benefit would have a super group that was like those like burr on drums. It's all a bunch of comedians yeah. and they'd be called dangerous mud. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like the Patrice O'Neill benefit. Yeah. 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 Oh, damn, that's fucking I mean, okay. That's yep. frightening. So things dude. seem to be going well down there. <laughs> oh yeah. Things are right on track. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And what's uh what's the house? Are you in a house, apartment? We're in a very nice house that accommodates sixteen. What? what? We're in a big old house, yeah. Uh, Is it just the two of you? Just the two of You're us. renting? Yeah, we're renting. Wow. From, a, from a doctor. Yeah, it's massive. Uh, yeah, and we, you know, we're sleeping in different beds every night, pulling pranks on each other. <laughs> it's fun. We're like an Amish household, but all of our kids died from diphtheria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no one to churn the butter anymore. So it's just me pulling pranks on my wife. How many bedrooms is it? It's like six bedrooms. Okay. That's ghosts. nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of ghosts. Is it an older house or a newer house? It's uh, It's been refurbished. Nice kitchen. Got an island in there. Okay, but Ooh. like what year? Is, there, is it is it is it ghost worthy? You're putting yeah. mud moats around the house? Oh, dude. Well, yeah, and I'm succumbing to my own wiles. <laughs> <laughs> Drown in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> it's hubris. So, yeah, huh. it's a big old house. It's nice, man. Uh, we're eating uh, not very good food. We're cooking vegan stuff because all the food. Like, there, there was like a recall on the chicken in the region <laughs> big chicken recall man it's i feel like we live in different war time periods <laughs> I, I feel so embarrassed bringing this up but this is what the people want <laughs> <laughs> there's only one grocery store i would assume uh -huh, yeah closes at 6 p.m uh, all I, the chicken got recalled all the chicken got recalled i do bits at the grocery store what do you mean bits i walk in I'm like, sheila what's going on new sure. eyeliner yeah, that kind of stuff. Small store, I would assume. Real small store. What's yeah. the name of it? Can I ask you? Uh, I don't even know the name of it, man. No name. It's that yeah. small. <laughs> I do know the name of it, but again, uh, sure. there's some sleuths out there. Uh, okay. Yeah, my wife's like Fair very enough. nervous that people are going to find out what Chinese restaurant we go to. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's fucking crazy, dude. My wife's doing rural medicine. I'm fighting mud. <laughs> it's it's just the dream we wanted. I mean, you're a different man from the last time I saw you. Yeah, well, I, don't, I think I'm the same guy. I think that guy you went to Indy with would. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's fighting. The last time I met him, he didn't almost die in mud. <laughs> that wasn't a problem he had from day to day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I do fear hornets still. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's it's weird. It's I drive two and a half hours to the airport, and uh, I fly to the big city. I just walk around like babe. Okay. Yeah, coming here now is so strange because every block is more people who live in the entire county that I'm in. Wow. Yeah. I never. It's got to be that. peaceful though. It's got to be nice. Oh, it's very nice. Good stars at night. Time. You get oh, scared out there at all? I get scared. Uh, there's this thing in eastern Colorado where like twilight is very long and gray, and the trees are all barren of leaves, so they just look like ghouls and skeletons. Ooh, and I, I am grew not up. visiting. No, please do not. Yeah, <laughs> don't come, man. They're not ready. <laughs> <laughs> they would city, city slicker slickers. like you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They're gonna drown you in paste picante salsa. Yeah. <laughs> Think you Which, were from the future. Not a bad way to go out. Oh no, I mean it's better than mud. <laughs> <laughs> I just make myself flat. <laughs> yeah, it's better on a chip. <laughs> Good try, that. gang. Die in some queso dip. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I want to go. <laughs> Me too, man. Hey, keep them coming. The real the stuff. The stuff at a nice restaurant. Yeah, man. Not the Tostino stuff. I, I was Because last time I talked to you guys, it was like, I'm going to move to Austin. And then uh, my wife got the job she wanted. So, no, no. Yeah. You also, keep... the last time you were, the last time I talked to you via text was in Denver. Mm -hmm. Or you were, we were supposed to link up. And you were, there was some sort of. There was a vulture attack. <laughs> there was some sort of returning a car. Or there was a plates issue. There was something very of ill oh, yeah, of AYG. Happened. You're yeah. like, my plates are suspended. I, I had to register my car in a county where I didn't have to get emissions testing. 
So I had to Max, drive out. Talk about eek and buy. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> 80 bucks is 80 bucks. <laughs> you know? Man. He drove 19 hours. I did. I drove up to my dad's house, and he took me in with a fake uh, piece of mail that I sent two days ahead of time. Whoa. So I had mail at his house. Uh, Wait, his, whoa. You sent a letter to yourself? Yeah. So it was dated good. to that, ad- or so it was your name at that address? Oh, uh-huh, yeah. Whoa. That's yeah. pretty smart. They got computers out there? No. <laughs> it's, no. All, abacuses. It's, it's all just firm handshake and eye contact. <laughs> uh, I believe you. What are you whipping around in? Uh, 2009 Chevy Impala. And it doesn't have, the emissions won't work? Uh, we got it in Detroit. Guess what it cost me? My father-in-law's life. Oh, you inherited it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I had to cook the books to put on that. that. Yeah. Well, it's just a comedy I thought it was show. a bad game of poker or something. <laughs> Dude, that night when you didn't show I ran up, him over. we were doing a show at the Denver Comedy Works. Yeah. Shout out to it. I was mm-hmm. having the set of my life, and yeah. like a little kid looking for his dad in the stands of a Little League game. Yeah. I was like, if there was ever a time for Sam to walk in and respect me finally as a comedian. You see me just standing in the back eating an apple off a knife blade. <laughs> <laughs> Attaboy, Tobes. I knew you had it. You put down the longboard, you picked up the mic. <laughs> Instead. He has his assistant back there camcording it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I was there. Were you guys in the big room or the downtown? Downtown. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Good, good, good. That's the one you want to be in. Oh, that's great. Shout yeah, out that, Comedy Works. That's one of the best, uh, the best. The best rooms, mm-hmm. I think. Obviously, it's well documented, but I mean, it's fucking something else. Oh, There's that's... a magic in that in that room, a, a tangibility. It's fucking awesome. Did the green room waitress smoke any cigs in the green room? She no. did not. We had a couple of heaters outside okay. together, though. Oh, for sure, yeah. It's a nice little dip out right Shout there. Shout out Tanya. Yeah. It was also very nice of, uh, she was like, hey, here's the run of the show, because we were doing two shows that night, so it was like, you know, the turn of the show is, the schedule it. of the show is very tight, you can't go over, and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, you know, so she's like, there's not going to be any curveballs to this. I was like, well, Sam Talent might come by and do a guest set. Yeah. And she's like, oh, well, that's fine. Okay. Like, I was like, Sam had like the, the okay, king out there. He can do what he wants. Yeah, you guys were there when we were moving. We were moving like out of our house, uh-huh. relocating. Well, we did that six months where my wife finished residency. She took six months off and we just lived on the road. We didn't have an address. Crazy. So while you guys were there, we were putting all of our stuff in storage. Mm-hmm. I had to cook the books on the Impala. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to hang a horseshoe so the spirits didn't take my belongings. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pot of black eyed peas I couldn't leave. You know? uh, so what was that? What was the six months like? It was fucking great, dude. Was that like sleeping in Airbnbs, hotels, in the car? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What did that? This is when you. I don't know. <laughs> you're on. saying you're on. It's you got just, no emissions. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. He almost died it's in mud, man. In I don't like you. I, I keep asking follow up questions. You're like, well, that's nuts. He just told me he almost died in mud and didn't make a phone call. I don't know about this guy. This is when you went on your big trip, right? This is when you guys were really moving and shaking. I did Japan for a week. I did Australia for a month. Which we the, I'm sorry to cut. This was the second time in Japan in not that long, right? Yeah, I went with her in January, and then I went back to film Wide World with the boys oh. in July, which, hey, 100 degrees, 100% humidity, good place to be 300 pounds. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was hell. I, I, I remember I remember getting on a subway car at 5 p.m. with everyone and just smelling myself <laughs> and being like, they're, they're going to ship me home. <laughs> They're going to take my passport. They're going to put you in that, that dog stick with the collar. <laughs> yeah. just, like, <laughs> just drag you to the airport. <laughs> it's, they got you and your five boys yeah. all fucking. You're fighting the whole way. <laughs> they just put me on a steamer ship. <laughs> <laughs> they sent me back around the horn. <laughs> So crab rangoon with sleeping medicine in it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how they get them? Just the big plate? I would eat that. I would, I would, do I would too, OD man. on crab oh, rangoon. Oh, man, I love me. Yeah. Oh, if, if they were like, here's six crab rangoons, one of them has fent in it, I'd be like, wait, one of them? <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny. <laughs> Just roll the dice. You wake up chained to a boat like King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's not it, it's a weird place to be huge, man. Sure. There's guys oh. who have jobs who is job just to make sure that enough people get on the elevator and they cram you and push the in the car. Yeah, it's too in. much for me, I feel. I like, am a very weird personal you'd, boundary guy. You'd be nothing over there. You'd be fine. Yeah. They have some the guys. wife's pushing for it. You, oh, you should go. I can hold your hand through a Tokyo excursion. It looks awesome. It's the best. Yeah, it looks yeah. all right. You have me with the Yakuza fucking smoking <laughs> hash or something. I wish it was hash. It was the worst weed ever. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, we don't it's have It's all scripted. It. Yeah, yeah. He was an actor. It's a sitcom uh, we're doing over here. Yeah, dude. But huh. yeah, yeah, we were just like in the road. We were. We, we spent some time in Detroit with the family, you know. We were in and out. We never slept in a car. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was crazy, man. There's no address. Forwarding everything. How was uh, Australia for a month? It was. Uh, they're wild people. You see, you see any burnouts while you're out there? 
Like is that like slang? people doing d- donuts and shit in their cars? I just—they're all hooligans. No, out there. I, I thought you meant guys, old bands or something. Yeah, I thought you meant a guy who ate twelve hits, <laughs> <laughs> and now he's just permanently looking for a miracle, <laughs> just flying the sign, making grilled cheese in the parking lot. Told no. you to lay off the sunshine, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, I—I uh, I did not see any burn. I mean, it was just—they're just—they're the wildest whites in the world. Yeah, they're 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 kooky people, and they're always like, "Oh, you have you, you have your problems in in America with the racism and the guns," and it's like, "Yeah, we let black people in, and it, <laughs> and it helped." Yeah. <laughs> now yeah, we yeah. have rock and roll. <laughs> what do you jackasses have? I've yeah. had your chicken. You know, it sucks. <laughs> There's 20 million of you guys down here. <laughs> I've had your chicken. <laughs> I and mean, I love Australia. It's got no flavor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it might have been recalled. <laughs> well, you guys I, haven't heard of Lowry seasoning yet. What are you doing? I know I have some good recalled chicken recipes. You can make a gumbo. <laughs> You gotta let it cook for six weeks. I am taking the wind out of it. Everything I say, you guys are like, oh, we, this doesn't compete with any other garbage we've had so far. <laughs> well, wait, did you eat the recall chicken? We dipped our toes. Oh, my God. It was God. before we knew it was recalled, but then we saw the packaging and we were like, oh, we've been eating that for the last three days. It's also, they, there might be a, you know, it's a percentage game. At yeah, there could have been a hair in that. Yeah, or we're rolling something. the dice. Yeah. Yeah, we saw the dealer's cards. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it sucks down there for the most part, but it's quiet and I'm, I'm writing a bunch of stuff. I'm ghostwriting a couple things. That's it's great. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Getting back into tune with yourself. You're off the road. He's back. He's set up shop. You got, um, any, you got any nickel in? You got nickel in the house, right? Oh yeah, keep a little something on you. Oh, yeah. there's, well, what's what's floating around out there? Uh, in the in in the, in the woods there, bears I assume. Oh, there's bears, there's wild boars, there's there's coyotes, there's wolves. Those there's, wild uh, boars, man, those things seem. There's mountain pumas. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Cougars, <laughs> I think y'all call All them. Right. I'm not talking about Toby's fucking hinge. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mountain puma. <laughs> yeah. uh, M o u n t i n. Do you wordsmith? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see them? Like, how big's the yard? Uh, is it yard, like you walk out and it's just at nothing? No, because we're in town. Okay. But if, if I drive eight minutes, I'm just in unregulated fucking just oh, high plains prairie. Man. You know. It's real cowboy stuff. Stars got to be pretty, though. Shout right? out Old Bent's Fort. It's like our colonial Williamsburg. Okay. You, you can go to like a Santa Fe Trail fort and see people dressed like Davy Crockett. That's no pretty kidding. fun. Yeah, yeah. And you'll try and take a picture on them and be like, what is that magic box you hold in yon hand? Shut up, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw you on your iPhone. Yeah, you're vaping. <laughs> Really pushing for your SAG card, aren't you, dude? Yeah. I was gonna be Gary Holcomb, but there's already a Gary Holcomb, so I just go by G Holcomb now. <laughs> yeah, man, it's uh, it's a, it's a crazy place, and it, it, I'm glad to be there. It's a six month contract, you know. Okay. My wife's been doing a lot for me, buddy. As, I'm right know? there with you. Yeah, I totally yeah. understand. It's a it's a mutual uh, compromise you got to make. It now times. she's but making real money. There you go. Which is nice. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, a little no. bit of cash each. A little bit of cash. Yeah, man. Probably goes a long way out there too. I would assume. Oh, huh? for sure. Rents uh, rents either four hundred dollars or uh, six eggs. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they got to be the big ones. Yeah. Half a mountain puma. Uh huh. Yeah, I just walk around and I take pictures of tracks and I send them to my friends and I'm like, what is this? And then there was this one guy who was like, that's a wolf. You need to be careful. And other guys, it's just a big coyote. You should still probably be pretty careful. <laughs> <laughs> still be on your toes. Yeah. Still have your wits about you. That's yeah. a RAV4. Look out. A lot of bear scat. There's a creep in the, <laughs> creep uh, in the area. Oh, there's, there's the creeps down there. That's what I'm not afraid of the animals, whatever. It's the people in the, um, you know, uh, I grew up in the suburbs and then I've been living in the city for so long that like now I go back to the suburbs or remote, more remote places and it, it freaks me out. I need the rustle and bustle. I need the noise. Oh, there's no noise. Oh, man. You're I trapped can't. with your thoughts. Oh, I can't Here, a train it. in the distance or anything like that? At a distance, two blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in the train. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to one of the OGs, baby, Sheath Underwear. It's time to spring clean that underwear drawer, and before this hot weather hits, make the switch to Sheath. Stay fresh and sweat-free all seasons long. Now, listen, gang, it's no secret that I am a big Sheath guy. They got the two pouches, one for the Frank, one for the beans. You can put both in the beans, one in the – whatever you do, you can mix and match the pouches. That's up to you. What you do in your apartment is your business. Sheath underwear is, un- is unlike anything else. It keeps everything separated so things don't get stuck together and turn into a sweaty mess. I've been a big proponent of Sheath for a very long time. It was the first thing I ever paid – 
money for where I was like, oh, there is a difference between cheap stuff and expensive stuff. If you pay the premium price for good stuff, they last for years. They are fantastic. Plus, they make you feel sexy, if I'm being honest. But the added bonus and making your package look awesome, you truly can't go wrong. Uh, you can even build your own underwear bundle on their site to make sure you have a pair for every day of the week. So here's the turkey. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use the code GARBAGE. You get 20% off your first order. Plus, Sheath Underwear's 100% money-back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code GARBAGE to get Sheath Underwear. Support the show. Support your balls. I could literally hop a train eight times a day if I wanted to. Because it goes real slow through the middle of town. See, I'm surprised you've see, never done that's that. That's why he could just say I could get on a train. He still lives in a time where you're hopping train down to town. <laughs> he could, yeah. He's got his bindle. Yeah. I could see you doing that. You know, I had friends who hopped trains back in the day. I'm sure you know some oogles who hopped some trains. Without question. Right. One, of our, suicide. one of our good friends did. He would he would go down to uh, D.C. like once a week. Yeah, hop in, go down, and then visit his friends. Oh, yeah. Do Philly I know this guy? DC. Yeah, it's Ryan Diesel, baby. Yeah. No, he would hop trains? Oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus. But one out of four of them just gets cut in half. Oh, crazy. <laughs> they get bifurcated. Yeah. Crazy. Yes. Yeah, get his twain. share of beans. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got any refries in that pouch? <laughs> I saw him empty that ashtray the next town over. Uh, yeah, man. Huh. Trains all the time. They wake you up. Wake up to a train horn. You feel like Johnny Cash. I would yeah. like that. My dad grew up with the train yard behind him. He said he used to love it at night. There are literally bulls, like you said, the railroad bulls. Yeah, thing. yeah. There's like I see them because I go on these long walks around town. I've become the drifter that people like. I wasn't there. People January. are locking their doors when you walk by. Oh, January first, I wasn't there, and now I'm just yeah, me everywhere, everywhere, <laughs> covered in mud, <laughs> covered in mud <laughs> at the general store. Dude, I had to walk back just caked in mud. <sighs> yeah, it's not it's not a good look necessarily. <laughs> And there's a lot well, of dogs. We'll, we'll see who's laughing last when you get deputized for that posse. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we finally have to go round up the... <laughs> yeah. We're going to need a mud man. <laughs> oh, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I came pre-mudded. Is that okay? <laughs> it was a different thing. <laughs> I want to know what somebody thought when they saw that leg imprint in the mud after you, after you left. <laughs> They're texting that to yeah, someone else. <laughs> probably looks like a meteor right landed. <laughs> yeah. It's either a Stavi or a Sam Talent, but uh, either way, be careful. You don't have any snacks on you, right? <laughs> <laughs> you should be fine. <laughs> yeah. If you get close, wave your arms real big and yell. <laughs> I befriended a bull because I asked him, what's up with the wild dogs? And he's like, that's going to happen around here. Wait, what's a meant, bull? I, I thought you meant a real <laughs> No, a railroad bull. Well, oh, I don't know what you like, got to school me. They walk around and crack heads. Yeah, oh, like, like those the guys. Yard. They're security. Well, I didn't know Pinkertons. that was the name of them. Yeah. yeah. What are they wearing these days? They just dress like us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, they, 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 it's like the Dickies jacket type thing. Undercover bull. Undercover bull. You smell toast? <laughs> <laughs> you got to get to Europe. It's the big one. <laughs> I'm so fat if I had a stroke, I'd smell bagels or something like that. <laughs> Is that everything? <laughs> You'd smell the schmear, too. <laughs> you guys smell Scallion cream cheese? <laughs> yeah, the uh, bulls are nice. Because I'm not, I'm not hopping, obviously. No. They know that. Oh, yeah. Man, it's really small town. It's, it's you know, god damn. Good diner in that town? No, no. There's a Sonic. That's it. There's a Sonic, and then there's a, the, it's where you can go over and get a, a $6 turkey sandwich, which I appreciate. Ooh. That's all right. We it's call turkey, bad. but still. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imitation turkey. Yeah. <laughs> this turkey smells like bad chicken. Eat it. <laughs> Shut up. It's $6. It's turkey. Yeah. <laughs> Imitation turkeys. All right. I went there uh, on Monday, and I saw a lady uh, just dump a handful of pills and give them to the waitress. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're up to. I'm going to be looking for the house now. <laughs> yeah. Toby, uh, why don't you bleep the name? If yeah, you yeah, could. Yeah, 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 for sure. We, I was going to make sure we <laughs> of course. clean all that up anyway. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Do you fuck with uh, imitation crab, by the way? No, I don't care for it. Really? If it's in a crab salad, I'm okay with it. But if you're just serving it to me and trying to pass it off, I got it. No, Cold no, steel. of course. You, only, you would have it in a- You would have it a, as imitation. You knowingly, it's imitation crab. Maybe. I would never serve it to people. No, yeah, but you would eat imitation crab salad. I have. My grandfather, when he was slowly losing his mind, he was a legitimate hobo back in the day. He would ride a train from Garden City, Kansas, all the way to Philadelphia, God work damn. in the textile mills as a yeah. kid, come back, drop off his handful of coins. But he would make this weird mulligan stew, and we would eat it all the time when we were kids. It was good. It would just be like a bunch of different meat with like some bell peppers, some onions and stuff. But then he started losing his mind, uh. and he would be adding like coffee and Diet Coke to it. <laughs> hey, I'm my, in. <laughs> my dad drew the line. When he was adding imitation crab meat. Oh. And that directly led to him being like, hey, we got to check grandpa into the home. Yeah. The motor oil and the mustache hair is okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. 
My grandpa used to make his own Coca-Cola because they changed the recipe, so he spent like 30 years trying to reconfigure the old Coke recipe. Ah, oh, that's pretty that cool. That sounds like my fucking hero. Yeah. He was the man. Ova Talent, shout out. Yeah, legit Ova. Ova Talent. Named, did I tell you this story before? I don't think so. My grandfather was named after a guy who during the Depression, this is the story he told us, a guy would ride around on train cars and he would have it like these like, you know, dust bowl towns would round up wild dogs and they would stake them to the ground. The dogs would be staked to the ground. Jesus. And then this guy, Ova, who was like a you know street fighting man, would stake himself to the ground, and then people would pay a nickel to watch him fight all the dogs. And that's who my grandpa's allegedly named after, is this legendary hobo dog fighter, Ova. God damn. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a good guy. What kind of sponsorship you get for something like that? <laughs> uh, Netflix or anything back Fighting the- dogs. Yeah, I think you just get a fucking hep C shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit of rabies. Yeah. God damn. Jesus. Okay. Ova, Ova would have loved you guys. He likes He's... straight shooters. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun, man. <laughs> yeah. Wait, the fighter or your grandfather? My grandfather. Oh, okay. <laughs> I bet that fighter wouldn't have much give with you guys. No. You no. never fought a dog in your life. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I bet you're eating canned meat. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Pants over there. Yeah. Your imitation turkey meat. Oh, yeah, man. Ova. He's dead. <laughs> your grandfather. I, 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 think both the, of them. I think the dog fighter too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the dogs are still alive. That's crazy. There's thing. not a live shelf, but yeah, it was a work. He was like a pro wrestler. <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's talking to the dogs. Man, <laughs> hey, listen, go down in the third. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. okay. I mean, very you know, colorful year you've had. I yeah. Say. yeah. Mm-hmm. Beautiful year. What was your favorite place that you were at? Man, Bratislava in Slovakia. I loved Bratislava. Didn't have high hopes. Did a show there. Eight people came. Nice. Let me tell you this. Army of Garbage, I love you guys. You hey. guys fucking show up to the shows. You tell me where you saw me. A lot of it's here, man. They're good. They're good people. They're, they're, they're some of the best, and that, that is one of the things we do love hearing of, like, you know, oh, yeah. I'll get a text from somebody. Like, I was just in St. Louis, yeah. and you know, everybody came out. I was like, yo, found you on AYG, big fan. Love you, love you. It's awesome to hear that. They, they do they, introduce they, you as pure trash to their girlfriend. Oh, sure. This yeah. guy's a huge piece of shit. <laughs> he almost drowned in mud. <laughs> it's that mud guy. <laughs> do the mud bit, Sam. Yeah. Do the mud bit. <laughs> yeah, they're bringing buckets. <laughs> one guy's got dirt. One guy's mud, got seltzer mud, water. Mud, 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 mud. mud. Dude, they've been barking at shows. Not the AYG, but like just my people come and they start what? barking when I walk on. I don't know. I think I made like a bark at me joke and now that I walk on stage and it's just a bunch of like... 23 year old with Zin tins and backwards white hat just going, oh, 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 oh. big dog. Gotta let the big dog eat, baby. Yeah. <laughs> they're, gonna start, right. they're gonna start calling you Big Bud. I been, like that. They've been calling me the Toad ever since the special came out. I like that. Yeah, it's good. The I'm, barking at you. I love them, man. They all, I, all of those kind of fit you. Oh, for big sure. Big Mud, the Toad, <laughs> the, the Big, big Mud. Dog. The Big Mud's all right. I wish it didn't fit so well. I know. It's you like gotta a, talk to the Big Mud. Yeah, it's like a hand me down. <laughs> it fit my father, it fit my grandfather. <laughs> they stake him to the ground. And then he fights recalled chickens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never lost a match. Uh, the fix is in. Uh, everyone <laughs> in your family can be called Country Breakfast. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bratislava was good because we were just walking around, my wife and I, and we stumbled into a natural wine festival oh. just in the center of town. You a natural wine? I could peg you for it's a natural wine guy. my favorite thing in the yeah. world. I don't think I've ever had What's it. What's the though? difference? Uh, it's natural fermentation, so they don't do anything to make it happen. They just like leave buckets of crushed grapes with the skins in outside, and then like natural yeast come by and like impregnate it, and that's the fermentation. They leave it open? I think so. So it's rotten. Well, wine, I mean, I wine think. is rotten. Yeah, yeah. It's, they just don't it? speed up the chemical process. Right, so it doesn't huh. give you a hangover, bro. No kidding. This shit's elixir. And my wife and I were pounding them while listening to Balkan music. And there's like young women like dancing in traditional style. And then you go to the show. Hey, uh, we had to move it. We're moving to this cool coffee shop. Oh, all right. Why? Well, the theater. Uh, you, you sold eight tickets. So. <laughs> and it holds eighteen grand. <laughs> yeah, we're in the coffee shop tonight. But, uh, I roll at the festival. <laughs> yeah. Going up against the natural wine festival. <laughs> want- I thought there'd be more foot traffic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're making wicker chairs out across town. <laughs> Can't compete. Everybody's out there eating, drinking scraps. <laughs> yeah. Wait, does it taste like regular wine? Yeah, it tastes better. Huh. Yeah, here it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I haven't sharp. had it though, but it's it's made a big big run the past handful of years. Yeah, it's like an ancient technique, ancestral method, petulant brute, depending on where you are. Hmm. Uh, these are all ways to order it. But um, I understand one out of yeah. every nine words he says. Anc- Look, man, ancestral, you're, you're, yeah, ancestral peasant. What'd you say? Uh, ancestral method. Okay, that's how their ancestors made it. And then uh, petulant brute means sparkling raw. Sounds like missionary position. <laughs> yeah, ancestral. Hey, that's how I got one. here. Hey, turn the lights <laughs> off. <laughs> well, turn turn one back on. <laughs> see where I'm going. I'm here. Somehow worse in the dark. <laughs> I don't want to step in mud. <laughs> it reminds me of my honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're having fun. Oh, yeah. 
But yeah, uh, we went to this bar afterward that one of the comics owned, the International in Bratislava, and we walk in and it's uh, it's just all Serbs and uh, and Bosnians. Okay. And he's like, hey man, it's uh, it's it's Serbian music night. It's fun, but watch out, all these guys have screwdrivers on them and they're gonna try and fuck your wife. Now get in there. <laughs> <laughs> now get out there and be somebody. <laughs> yeah. We're doing karaoke in twenty minutes. Oh, oh, is yeah. it a good time though? Good it's hang. A blast, yeah, man. It's, yeah. It's kind of those those. Did they make moves on the misses? Uh, no, she's a sir. She can take care of herself. Okay. Yeah, she's got the mud king at home. There you go. <laughs> yeah. She's got her own <laughs> screwdriver on her. Oh, yeah. Glass of orange juice. <laughs> she keeps it. <laughs> My mom used to do that. She was a <laughs> screwdriver guy? Bring her own screwdrivers to the bar. No kidding. <laughs> to the bar? <laughs> to the bar? Yeah. 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 Why? She didn't want to pay? Was it a price thing? Uh, well, half her brain was broken from a stroke, so we just let her get away with everything. There you okay. go. Yeah. Hey. She'd screwdrivers are all right. They're man. good, man, in the morning. Yeah. It's the first. Yeah, if you're doing it in the morning. I, I'm not a mimosa guy. I don't like the bubbles. If Me I am going to do something, in the, if we're drinking in the morning, it will be a screwdriver. It's one, it's one of those things that are better it's better the worse the orange juice is does that make sense like a screwdriver with like fresh squeezed orange juice is not as good but if it's that jail juice jug tampico oh, that man. shit hits yeah mm -hmm. it's yeah, very it's good right. yeah it's more of like a mixed drink rather than like you know trying to be an actual fruit drink right i yeah. like a lot of ice in the screwdriver oh, i don't want any pulp it. in there it's also no. pulp uh, you, lo you don't sense. love pulp? I love pulp. But you don't want it in the, in the screwdriver. screwdriver. Not in the screwdriver, because it jams up the straw. Sure. Good. I'm a man of systems. Uh -huh. Give me that. I yeah. respect yeah. it. Yeah. I uh, Screwdrivers, for me, hold such a near and dear place, I think, in a lot of people's hearts, in the sense of, like, it was the first drink a lot of people had. Mm -hmm. It was like, you can get your hands on you, you don't know anything, so you're like, I'll do it, get us a bottle of vodka, and we'll right. just make screwdrivers. And yeah. you're like... I remember drinking screwdrivers, smoking Marlboro Milds, and singing Billy Joel on a couch in a garage in That's a good 2004 right or something. Do you remember when Little John and all the boys were drinking out of gas cans? Oh, yeah. yeah. Crunk it's, juice, I believe it was. So we would do crunk juice, mm -hmm. but we would do it in gas cans just that like they been, were in the garage. That have been used? Right, oh, yeah. That dude, Jesus. That's, yeah, Jesus. So like me and David Borey, 2004, mm -hmm. I remember we like ended up drinking probably way too much, much. gasoline. Yes. <laughs> More than the USDA recommended <laughs> amount of gasoline. <laughs> and he doesn't like imitation crappy. Get the fuck out of here. I'll drink natural wine only, but boy, I've had some gas. You let, a, you let, a, you let a smoke, you're breathing fire. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Man. That's fucking too much. <laughs> you're saying shit like this is for huffing and for sipping. <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman's choice. <laughs> yeah. That gas can thing killed that's a lot of people. Yikes. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's too yeah. much. Nothing crossed your mind to be like, you can get them for five bucks at the gas station no, or whatever. No, we're just like at a party. Like, how are we going to kick this thing into overdrive? I know what <laughs> we're going to do. Let's kill ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gas night. <laughs> we had a party in college one time. Remember how you used to, they used to make like uh, like the punch in like a trash can? Yeah, yeah. And I think it was, it wasn't our fraternity. It was another fraternity where like the pledges had to like make it. And they, instead of getting a, a clean they trash do. can, oh. they used an old one. Dude. And like fifty people got like violently ill. Oh yeah, like the oh, next, the, I get like the, the next smell day. that sweet oh. trash smell. Yeah, Ooh. but after you do that, recalled chicken is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you, go. you build the antibodies <laughs> yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, that's just training for the gauntlet that is life. Got the intestine of a Komodo dragon <laughs> after that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Crapping eggs. Eat anything, dude. Crapping eggs. Yeah, just the rat skeleton comes out. <laughs> oh, like an owl? Owl pellet. Yeah. Oh, you know owl pellets. Oh, Come I on. heard that the other day, Thank too. You. Somebody was talking about an owl, owl, owl pellet. I am an owl pellet. <laughs> That's the currency where I'm from. How do you think I pay rent in these parts? Yeah. Wait, refresh my memory. Thank it's, you. It's I, owl poop? Yeah. No, it's, re it's a regurgitate. They, they eat. A whatever, like an owl will eat a bird, and right? Digest and it the digests the, the 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 yes, the feathers, the skeleton all stays in their stomach and gets like compounded in like a mud type thing, and they and spit they it spit back it back up. up like a hairball, yeah. but it's not intact. <laughs> Sam gets stuck in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's no. What do you mean? It's not intact. It's not like a. It's not like a fossil. It's not a cartoon where they just pull the fish skeleton out. <laughs> no, it's not Sylvester the cat. It's a real bird. He's like maybe these owls. I've heard about them. I have never seen one. What's going on here? That's it's what I. It's not the Tootsie Pop guy. <laughs> yeah. It's no. So it comes out in like an egg, and then that's just like a mismatch of the bones, the feathers, the whatever, right. the fur of whatever it ate. Is That'd be all fun to there. put that, try to put that, that back was, together. That was our seventh oh, grade that science. Did? Yeah, oh. you, like, you have to determine what it is. Like, oh, this was a pigeon or this was a rabbit or whatever. This was a ferret, yeah, yeah. some kind of marmot. This was a young boy. <laughs> yeah. It was a big bird. This is a Zelensky kid. <laughs> <laughs> Been looking for him for six months. <laughs> I could take him off the list. <laughs> Close the case on him. <laughs> Notify the parents. 
oh man, I come on here, I laugh so much. It's so nice. I pull out a library card. <laughs> Just a bunch of pogs. Yeah, he had the shack slammer. <laughs> uh, I knew. Uh, thank God, because I, I talked about it. They were giving me shit that a lot of the listeners. We were talking about dissecting in. frogs, mm-hmm. and we did fetal pigs. I think we did, did pigs as well. Yeah. How old are you? Uh, thirty-six. Yeah, I'm 37, so that makes sense. I think yeah. at whatever you know uh, age it switched from the frogs, we we started doing pigs. They were just you, a glut of how many times you did this once? I did. What do you? Mean? What'd you go to an agricultural school? I <laughs> did. I, I did one. There was one in Roxborough in Philly that I wanted to go to, but I wasn't allowed. Were you in 4-H? I was in 4-H, but only because I was in a. Wait, wait. Why weren't you allowed to work with the animals? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what were you up to? <laughs> I had a couple. Oh, I had a couple pending tra- charges. Yeah, you gave it the old Colombian courtship. No, he had, the, he had a PetSmart <laughs> lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> those, those doves were dead when I got them. That Basically. one's a snapping turtle. <laughs> he used to me. call Mister Peanut Butter. <laughs> I didn't think I got the name Kippy. <laughs> All smooth. Uh, no, my ma. It was like you had to go completely, and like you wouldn't, you didn't learn uh, regular courses. It was like you had to go then be a farmer or whatever. Yeah. And it was like I was like, where are you going to be a fucking farmer? Like, West Philly. Here? Yeah. Come out to where I live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I not get it. Yeah. I but wait, you it. did this more than once. No, I did it once. We did the pig and the and then the alp or the alp at first and then the pig. And I don't think you told us about the pig. What, what is it? What what is a uh, impregnated pig? Is that what you said? A, a fetal, a fetal pig. pig. What does that mean? It's the pig fetus. Yeah. Oh. It's just like this big, yeah. and it's in like a ours came in like a plastic bag, mm-hmm. like you're like cutting open a T-bone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I snuck it out of the skybox. <laughs> <laughs> It paired well with a caprese salad. Yeah. It's got Thai chili oil all over it. <laughs> Maybe a little orange wine. It goes a long way. It brings out the note of hooves. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, because you did a frog. That's, like, very stereotypical to me. We that did, was we did a did frog once, and I, yeah. Ugh, man. One time my friend Andy Quinn in high school stole the bag of frogs from the biology room, and for a senior prank, he just dumped them off the second-story bridge oh. in the school and just rained frog parts on everyone, Ooh. and he was like... Another day at the office. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for me, boys. Did he yeah. get in trouble for that? Oh, no, he was king. <laughs> really? Andy, Nothing? Andy Quinn walked out of our uh, standardized test one time, and he lit a cigarette in the lobby, and he said, what the fuck are sin and cause? <laughs> <laughs> talking about sine, sine and cosine. cosine. Yeah. yeah. You would have had no idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're yeah, talking he's about. Sinning. Man. But I like the delivery of the line. I yeah. got time for this. <laughs> yeah. Um, no wow. trouble. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did, you do a, did you do a senior prank of any kind? No, no. How are you in school? I was very good in school. Very good. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. You're a sharp guy. I yeah. know. I'm sure we asked you, but your SAT scores were what? Uh, we, did, we did ACT. Ah, yeah. Probably good. In the 30s, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's it out of like good. 34, 36. Man's a published know. author. What are you talking about? He Self-published. <sighs> not you and your, not yeah. you and your horse school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was in 4-H because I was in some after school program. Yeah. I never understood and what they that made, was. they made you join. Uh-huh. Like, you know, we had a joint 4-H. I don't know what it was. I just found out later that I was in. I was thoroughly embarrassed. Yeah, I mean, 4-H was big, and also those girls, they were like wrestling managers. They were a sure thing. Really? What is oh, 4-H? Yeah. I don't know. I, I remember the commercials. Can get 4-H? I think husbandry is one of them. No. Uh, yeah, because it's all animals, right? Animal husbandry is like the care of animals. Okay. It doesn't mean just, I just banging the cows. I thought it was like the Boy Scouts or something like no, that. No, it's more of an agri- agricultural-based, like how to be really? a, uh-huh. not a farmhand, but how to grow up in a rural area. I'm blown away that they had it in Philadelphia. It was more, I was, I was in the suburbs, but it was more of like, I thought it was some by, kind of after school name, program. It like, it's after school. Kickball yeah. or something like that. No, no, that, that would have been great. <laughs> I would have been in 4-H. <laughs> it was just dodgeball club. finger banging a, a horse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up to my elbow what and a heifer. What do you got, T-Bone? <laughs> All right. So 4-H. What oh, did you say up to your, oh, you up to your elbow and a heifer? He did. Oh, he did. I just heard it. <laughs> the kid's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Get him some more of that Ozeppi. Yeah. All right. Uh, 4-H stands for head, heart, hands, and health. Okay. Husbandry. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 trying no. to get his it wing away. Been, it might have been different out there in Colorado. I don't know. Hey, any of you broads swing? <laughs> I got a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> it's upside down. He just walks in, puts it on the table. Uh, What's up, ladies? We need, we need some more fetal pigs. <laughs> uh, it's He's not wrong because we had it in North Carolina, and it is like you're looking at like horse tails and shit. Yeah. But it's 
marketing is it doesn't allude to that at all. It's a US a US based network of youth organized organizations whose mission is engaging youth to reach their fullest potential while advancing the field of youth development. They they pivoted probably in the 90s cuz it was became less, you know, Less people, more people in cities and stuff like that. Right, there were less know. people who yeah. were like who raising. Needed, yes, exactly. Yeah. Huh. So like, they, because uh, that the husband, that wasn't what it was when I was in it, I don't think. They had to get that out of there because kids got the wrong idea. <laughs> Husbandry, <laughs> <Yeah>. what? <laughs> okay, what if I'm a girl? I, I, the kids with 4-H, they would raise, uh, you you know, they would like raise a calf all the way until it no became. No way. Oh, yeah, that's and pretty then cool. they would sell it off at the Elbert County Fair. Oh. And they'd get like fucking 1,500 bucks, you know. Mm, what did they do with it? Hey, we ate it. Mm. Yeah. What do you think we did with it? Threw it at a fucking birthday party? <laughs> <laughs> Keen Sinjara for the cow? Yeah. No. Yeah, it was food. Hey, Lenny's getting married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bachelor party at We're the doing general. a 50-50. Yeah. They hung cans off the back of the cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I always wanted to do that. We never did that as far as, uh, like, you, you raise a little baby chicken. Yeah. All, all the way through. Did we you do that? Chickens. No, we had the fake babies. That's oh, crazy. That's like from Saved by the Bell shit. Yeah, like, yeah. That's like so tropey. Mm -hmm. did, and it, did you survive? Did your guy survive? I think I snapped it like once. <laughs> I was doing. I was giving him the Stone Cold Steve. Yeah. Stone Cold Stunner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, hey, my baby's a huge pussy. Can I get a new one? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that it was like during football season. So it was just you let like the managers raise your baby for three hours a day. And then you go home and you have the baby and it wakes you up like twice. It's not a big deal. That's yeah. real athlete stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, hush toots. money. Yeah. You're giving her hush money. <laughs> yeah. You got another baby with another girl? <laughs> There's a hundred in the diaper. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be going public with this. Yeah. Get your side piece watching the kid. <laughs> yeah. <It's laughs> you got like a half Mexican one. <laughs> uh, oh, God. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. 4 H. 4 H. You weren't a Cub Scout, were you? Or a no, Boy Scout? No, none of that. No. Uh uh. That was I thought that was for fucking pussies right away. <laughs> yeah, They'd no, wear, I mean same with us. Yeah, they would wear their little like Boy Scout uniform to school and think they're so slap cool. Slap the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. make Flex them flinch. Them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, knock their hat off. <laughs> I, I I've said that this has been documented, but uh, my buddy was in uh, Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, whatever, like actively from a very young age to I think like through high school he did it, and I got hurt. I hurt myself very far back. Saved your life. Saved yeah. my leg. Whoa. It was like my I. Jumped out of a tree. Uh, we were like rope swinging. I jumped out, and my knee was bent. I hit a root or a rock, and my knee exploded. It was, oh. like, it was just like hanging off. Like a burst papaya. <laughs> okay. It's the altar good. came out. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the sun was low that day <laughs> yeah. in the Great Plains. Um, Kimmy's we, pomegranate. We were like, like a mile back in the woods, and I couldn't get out. And yeah. he fucking, he was like, I saw a, a picnic table. A couple, you know, whatever, back. He ran, kicked the legs off, put us on, wrapped it up, and carried me to his oh, old wow. woman's house. Yeah, he yeah. dragged you out on the table? Yeah, him and another person. Damn, that, they dude. made a stretcher out of it. Kiss, kissing him the whole way, though. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, you fucking nerd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't tell nobody about this. <laughs> I skipped out of here. <laughs> it was your asked, leg. If anybody <laughs> asked, I dragged myself out. <laughs> yeah. And I beat you up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that one life-saving event is worth the six years of just torture me and my friends put on these kids. Uh, so, of course tough, not. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was like so, in the, uh, you know, the, in the 90s or in the late 90s, it was so anti-cool. Yeah, it was yeah. like something left over that the dorks would do. It was right. just so not what I wanted to do. Meanwhile, I'm wearing Lee Pipes over here oh. smoking <laughs> resin. I was, a, I was a Lee Pipes man myself. Yeah, 100%. I always wanted to do it. It was just never a thing that... Uh, Could that... find an outfit big yeah, enough. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Low-hanging fruit still fruit, guys. He doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> And I'm back. I gotta, I, gotta wear the, I gotta wear the counselor's old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For 4820. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest part of being a fat little kid? Uh, it sucks. Be like, I need a, the improper <laughs> fraction. I need a 3818. Yeah. <laughs> Is this kid sideways? <laughs> <It's going on. laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, because I did kind of like that, like outdoorsy kind of stuff. The thing that they could have done to turn it all around is they should have gotten the cookie game too. 
Because <laughs> that, it's always food with it. Yeah, was, come on. You know what makes little boys cool? Selling cookies. <laughs> <laughs> that would revamp the whole image. All right, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I start doing steaks or something. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going door to door. <laughs> selling a porter. Selling house. switch blades. Sir, how big's your family? <laughs> yeah, get into the arms trade or something like that. I this. told you about our sides. Start moving guns. Because I tell you what, when those Girl Scout cookies came around, mm-hmm. you couldn't tell me nothing. No, they're out right now. Ooh, are they really? Yeah, they're I feel like them. they're just perpetually out at this point. I feel like I see them a you lot. You get them online, I assume. I think they have to manufacture scarcity so they sell. Oh, that's pretty I good. It's like the, blood diamonds. Exactly. And you're exactly right. It is like that time diamonds. of the year. <laughs> it's yeah. exactly yeah. like that. Yeah. They do come around at Easter time. That's right. I bought some maybe two months ago. Yeah, did they make it out of the car? They did. Okay. You did? Yeah. You bought? You mean say nothing? Uh, I bought them. I was. I went. I got them for my wife. I was out in the burbs. They were selling them outside the uh, Tobacco Express that I was popping into. <laughs> sure, Play yeah. my daily numbers. Checking in on <laughs> your investments. <laughs> Wait, the kids were out there in front of the tobacco. They store? were right next to it. Yeah, oh, that's, the, that's where the foot traffic <laughs> yeah. is, Daddy. I don't know what to tell. They you. were in front of the check cashing place. <laughs> yeah, nobody was. <laughs> nobody was hitting a produce store. <laughs> hey, don't forget about the Girl Scouts on your way out there, money bags. <laughs> <laughs> Pay your light bill and get, stop by and get some Samoas. <laughs> um. <sighs> and I got them. It was very funny. It was uh, I, I bought them for my wife. I was like, oh, look, like this is and she didn't know she's never seen them before. So because she's German, I was like, oh, this will be a cool thing. And she's like, one, she didn't like the cookies. And two, she's like, I thought they baked them. Oh, she's like, that was just the narrative. We always understood. Like she the thought they were get, Keebler elves. Yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> who the fuck's going to just be eating random broads kids? Cookies that they think they got a demo kitchen out in front of the liquor store. Yeah. You're talk? embarrassing me in front of the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I apologize. Yeah. She's from out of town. She's German. She's a little stunat. Yeah, she's had a fig in her day. That blew her skirt. <laughs> you start beating her up. Yeah. <laughs> what I fucking tell you? <laughs> Go get my smokes and get back in a car. Tommy brought out of here. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, God, the, my head hurts. Those yeah. tagalongs, man. Yeah, Oof. they're all. I mean, they're all good. I'm not a. I'm not a huge sweets guy, so it's 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 a little bit lost. Oh, I love them. Yeah. What's your favorite? Uh, the, the caramel ones. Yeah. The caramel delights, as they call them yeah. now. But as I've gotten older, as an older gentleman, I used to push them away when I was a kid. A shortbread I, cookie. You're not telling the truth. <laughs> if there was a cookie with an arm's length, yeah, I'm but a shortbread when you were a kid, that might as well be a cracker. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now, I, man, I love a shortbread cookie. Huh, do you Just dip? straight at the middle. Like, those are unbelievable. Do you dip in coffee? I dip it in coffee. I'll dip it in a little milk, a little chocolate milk. You know what I mean? Yeah, rum. <laughs> <laughs> Rumble stills. LSD. <laughs> Get my you got tri- the dropper on it? <laughs> yeah. Get my trip on with some Thin Mints. Have you ever had the dropper in hand? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, what? What's that? Liquid acid? Uh, yeah, liquid acid. Oh, yeah. You ever been puddled? What's Pu- that? You spill it? Someone's just like, hey, I'm going to give you some, hold your hand out, and then they like spill the whole dropper in your hand. And no. Then, it's like then, intentionally? Uh, sometimes it feels like there's intent. Uh huh. The I don't want it absorbs through the hand. Yeah, I'm not I mean, an acid guy. I don't know. You're just zooted for yeah. three days. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, yeah. straight into the eyedropper into the. Under the tongue. Yeah. yeah, but no, put it on something so you can regulate the dose. I, I've never had anyone do that to me, but I've sent myself to the splash zone many times. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. Guy likes wet work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's the fixer. <laughs> Give it up for the fifth dimension. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> What'd that look like? Were you just gone? Oh, yeah. Red eye flight from California. Let me tell you, I solved airline travel, buddy. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Oh, this, this was recently. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, buddy. I had a VR headset with me. What am I supposed to do? You're on acid on an airplane in a VR headset? <laughs> yeah, Man, dude. the fact you didn't get arrested somewhere for trying to open the I door. I got to be honest with you. I think he was in his apartment the whole time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was in the park with two pine cones taped to his face. I'm in the Matrix. <laughs> it's almost like real life. It's all ones and zeros. Two pine cones holding two squirrels. <laughs> squeezing their heads. That sounds like a nightmare. Oh, there was it was awesome, except for 30 minutes where I couldn't find my phone. Yeah. Oh man, I felt like I was in <laughs> I was in Air Force One, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> that's I could too freak much. Freak it out. Oh, I hate drugs on a plane. I, I'm not a, I'm not a drug man. I like booze on a plane. Booze sure. are like getting yeah. boozed up, take the edge off. Right. But uh, yeah. I'm not. A, I'm and not the a... zins on a plane are the best. Ding. They are the bin. 
You got a couple in you. You got yeah. your movie going, uh-huh. maybe a little Fargo, Lebowski, right. whatever. Sure. And then you, all of a sudden you remember, oh, shit. Can you imagine doing LSD with Toby and he's just cackling and his I, eyes are all scabbed oh. over from lack of oxygen? I'm <laughs> so fun. I no, put you're a bag on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Start waterboarding him. Yeah. yeah. Where were you on the 17th? <laughs> <laughs> Who ate all the shortbread cookies? Why do you laugh so loud? <laughs> oh, man. God bless you, Toby. That sounds scary, man. Uh, yeah, I had a buddy. I remember one time we were in. I, I never dabbled in it, but uh, all of my friends, I was the only one to not. And I remember one, my buddy had like a, like the tabs, uh-huh. right, like the paper, oh, but yeah. it was like it like powderized or something. It was in like cellophane, and, uh-huh. like, broke. T- and I remember he dumped it in his eye, oh. and I was like, we were all like, dude, you might not come. Like, we were s- eighteen or something. That's like, one of the worst holes to use. Man, so many I had, better holes. He had like heard about it in a you know on like a rap song or something. So I was yeah. like, I'm doing it and fucking. He, uh, he Quit ended up taking have... advice from Three Six Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Those shout, guys are cool. Shout out to Project Pat, by the way. <laughs> oh, they rule. And their boy computer. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know if you guys did. You remember that? They had a, they had a, they had a, one of my all time favorite uh, nicknames is they had a reality TV show. Oh, yeah. Uh, and their boy who uh, was the only one who knew how to send emails, they called him Computer. Because <laughs> he had a Hotmail yeah, account. Like, oh, that's Computer. <laughs> that's <laughs> Anything right. that had to be done online, Computer did. <laughs> we need a new Angel Fire site, Computer. <laughs> oh, God. That's all right. But, uh, oh. boys, I think we got to wrap it up here. All right. Hey. Man, Sammy T. What a fun one. Let's we run this you, down real quick one more time because we love you. You got Chubby Bohemoth. You can hear him every week. He's got the special out, Toad's Morale. Mm-hmm. Uh, on YouTube, he's got a brand new travel show. Episode one and two are out right now on his YouTube page. And, of course, as I said in the beginning, yep. he's the author of Running the Light. Everybody loves it. Unbelievable book. Unbelievable comic. Thanks, unbelievable man. man. Anything you want the folks out there to know, hit them. Yeah, Us. plug anything in uh, in April, April dates. Sandtalent.com. All right. Uh, hyenas, come see me there. I'll be in Dallas. Uh, Bloomington Comedy Attic. Uh, just samtalent.com. I'm on the road forever. All Love time it. fucking stand up comic. Oh, like it's, man. it's fucking, it's, it's a beautiful thing to watch Sam perform. You the, open, the opening of that special is just foot on the gas. Thanks, man. Just kicking ass. Thank you. I, yeah. I remember you did our, uh, we were at Skangfest and you did our AYG and Friends show yeah. where we all just like went up and did sets and then kind of dicked around at the end. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go on after Sam. And I was so hungover. <laughs> and you went up and started murdering within four seconds. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I remember I had, a, Tell I, had, me! I had a beer on the back of my neck. <laughs> trying to cool my headache yeah. and I was like I made a bad decision he's just up there like what's this and fucking murdering you're like hey get Josh Potter awake yeah somebody <laughs> fucking someone get a you. spot opened up <laughs> pull the plug shout out to the roach baby yeah Kippy, you, what you guys got are for the me? best in the business and I just uh, love being here with thank you guys you, thank you buddy love, love you. you you're a dear friend and I'm happy to know you thanks man love you uh, guys we are all over the road as well all tickets are available at areyougarbage.com and uh, check out uh, both of our specials on YouTube check them mm-hmm. out gang on the Are You Garbage YouTube page. Gang, we love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.